Welcome to IT Simplify. In today's quick video, I will show you from where to download Microsoft Fabric Capacity metric application so that you can keep a track of how your application or capacity unit is performing or behaving and you can correlate that with the cost management on the Azure portal. So you can see I'm logged on to the app.powerbi.com to access my fabric. You can also either go to app.fabric.microsoft.com to access this portal. And uh, from the left side of the blade, I can expand these three dots. And you see, I have this application button. I'm gonna click on this. And under get apps, I can go and search for it. You can see I've already downloaded one, but let me show you the steps which is going to be. So under get application, search for Microsoft Fabric. And this is the app we are talking about. So I'm going to pick this. You can go and uh, read through the overview and let's click on get it now. Now at this stage, it will ask you to download this application. Now, because I've already downloaded it, it's asking me if I want to update. So let me just come out of this because uh, this is just recently installed. So I don't need to update anything, but let me show you it because it's going to ask you for the capacity ID and where you're going to get it from. So I'm going to come out of this and cancel. Let me go uh, on to the home button. Let me just go and expand these all dots. Click on the admin button. And under show all, I'm going go to go to the all admin center. And under all admin center, I'm going to go to the Power BI. And this is a credential which with I logged in. And on this space, you can see I have the capacity setting. So whatever capacity SQ that you're utilizing, there is a capacity ID associated with that. Now I'm utilizing trial option in this case. I'm going to pick this. And this is the capacity name. So let me go and expand. And you can see I have the setting button. So I'm going to expand this. And if you scroll down, this is the capacity ID that you need to provide when you're trying to download that application. Rest everything, you can take the default, but this is where you're gonna get this capacity ID. So let me just come out of this and uh, go back to the apps. And let me just go and expand just to show you how the experience is going to be. And as I have mentioned in my previous sessions that there are going to be two cost component. One will be the cost of the capacity unit or the SQ that you're going to utilize. And the other will be the cost of the storage. Let me just go and enlarge this so that you can see better. So you can see the fabric capacity metric. Now on the capacity name, if you have multiple, it will show you. So I have two in my case, but for this demonstration, I'm using the trial version. So I'm going to pick that. So you can select in your case too. And you have different tabs over here. You have the capacity unit, the duration for how long this was running, what operation and the users, right? You can always uh, maneuver around and move it accordingly to gather more information. Now this is a great way of keeping a track of, you know, where your consumption is coming. Because uh, if you're gonna use some so some higher uh, SQs of uh, capacity unit, it's on a higher side. So definitely you want to keep a track of you know where you uh, where your cost is coming from the consumption perspective, and also you know you can explain from uh, from the costing perspective to the concerned authorities if they ask you for. And you can also see that on this right side I have the utilization tab, I have the throttling. If there is any overages, I can also go through this, right? And if I scroll down, I got some more information about, you know, for how long duration it's all running. But my recommendation will be definitely go and uh, explore this link, which talks about what is uh, this metric application. And you can also read through just to understand you know, what are the compute charges which is going to be, right? Because there is a lot of information. So you can go and uh, read through this. I will highly recommend what is throttling means over here, right? What happens in case, let's say, uh, you have uh, uh, deployed a capacity unit and then 
your requirement or you need to have more operation uh, than what is uh, uh, what that capacity unit can handle so this uh, gives you a lot of information about you know what does that will do in terms of those kind of scenario but uh, i'm going to post this link in the description of this video so you can go through this uh, going back to the uh, the metric apps you can see uh, you can look at the data set, even stream, custom database, warehouse based on uh, different. Uh, you can always change it, right? I believe you can pick maybe dashboards, pie charts, right? Uh, you you can you can tweak it. You can also share this, right? And you can also uh, uh, you know share this with some other users if you want to, in case you need to do some explanation. But you have different tabs over here. You have a compute under which I'm right now. You can always switch to the storage. That's going to be the another cost, which is going to be from the one lake and uh, associated with every uh, workspace that you have. You can always click on the help button. But I think this is a great way and it's a good application that uh, you should be aware of. That's why I thought maybe I will just do a quick session on this. So this is the, uh, these are the steps which are involved when it comes to downloading this fabric capacity metric application. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.